What's up, Neptune Nation? This is Patrick, and we are here at the Worldwide Corals Pentagon tank. We've installed an Apex Pro, an entire setup on this system. We're really excited because we're working with Vic and Josh, and what we've decided to do is really try to customize this setup to their needs. And because Worldwide Corals really focuses on keeping things simple, we want to follow all of their typical behaviors for this Pentagon tank. This is a jewel showpiece. So we want to make sure that we're meeting their needs and how can we take automation and the technology of Apex and Neptune systems to really create a lot more stability and create robustness in the design and take out some of the manual labor. So let's go through some of the particulars of this design. Now, as you guys know, Worldwide Corals is very insistent on water changes being the most basic and stable thing you can do for your tank. Now, they do weekly water changes on the Pentagon tank. Now, that's a lot of labor, especially if you're doing it manually. Now, for those of you at home, an automatic water change can stop lugging those buckets each week. And if you get lazy, hey, don't worry about it. It's all being taken care of. And that can be such a critical factor in the success of your tank. So we've got an automatic water change happening with the doses here. We've got an add and remove. We also have an auto top off happening for that daily replenishment. And what that's gonna do is make sure that this system is completely topped up and they don't need to rely upon doing this every week. Now, in order to make sure that we're doing an auto water change correctly, it's always wise to use a conductivity probe. And right here, we've got the conductivity probe set up on the system. And as things, if things change, we're going to set a notification to the phone and to email, however we would like to do it. But to send the guys here who are running the store and notice, say, hey, something's starting to go out of whack. And I think that's really important thing to notice. The other thing that we're gonna do on this tank is go through and we're gonna walk through how to set up power monitoring. This system, when I talked to Josh, has never really had a major problem in the sense that it wasn't recoverable, but there's been a few times where the main return pump that goes from the sump to the display stopped working or failed. They've also had a failure because this system uses a remote skimmer. When you're pumping water so far away to that skimmer, if that pump stops working for whatever reason, again, that's a pretty major problem that we're gonna have. So we're gonna do power monitoring of the skimmer pump. We're gonna do power monitoring of the two pumps that are returning to those, the UV sterilizer. And so if any of these things are down for any reason, we're gonna send a notification to the team so that they can take action right away. And so this is a real move towards stability on the power monitoring side. Now, the next thing that we did is set up both a Trident ACM and a Trident NP on this tank. And this is really gonna be a game changer because Worldwide Corals, they're all about maintaining stable water parameters. So they do testing on every single one of their systems for alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, nitrate, and phosphate every day. So automating those tests with the Trident system, right? ACM, alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, nitrate, phosphate, that's gonna give them a lot more surety on these numbers, either on a daily or multiple times per day. So while we're not going to set up automated dosing because we're gonna favor simplicity for this setup, they're gonna know if something's going awry earlier and faster. So that's the basics. Next, we're gonna walk you through the particulars on how we're programming the Apex unit here and how that might apply to your tank at home. 